Hey everyone, welcome to Cult of the Lamb, probably the most uh, anticipated roguelite of 2022, certainly mine. I've been waiting for it since its announcement uh, at the Devolver sort of release conference thing they do every year. Um, it is essentially, if uh, you were to cross, oh hang on, praise the lamb, conduit to great power, promised liberator of the one who waits below. Yet sacrificial beast, take heed, for a crown cannot sit upon two brows. Certainly got very intense, didn't it? Uh, it's essentially if you mix Animal Crossing with Hades, which sounds incredible. Oh my god, look at it already. Oh, it looks amazing. Oh my god. Artwork's phenomenal here, people. Artwork is phenomenal. A game by Massive Monster. Let's go. Nice little dev team going on there. Thank you very much for making the game. Published by Devolver. Shout out Devolver. We love Devolver games. Okay. What's about to happen here? Um, well, I don't like that prompt, to be honest. Uh, kneel to be sacrificed. Look at that guy's axe on the right. Right. Well, let's... Uh, oh, we look so sad. Let's give it a go. Before us stands the last of its kind. All of us we have hunted down and put to the blade. With the last lamb? With this final sacrifice, the prophecy will be impossible to fulfill. The heretic who lies bound below will be condemned to eternal captivity. And the old faith shall be preserved. I don't like this. I feel like I'm looking at the Illuminati right now. Probably just been uh, cancelled for mentioning those. Don't kill me, Illuminati. Wait, do we actually just get our head chopped off? Bruh. Oh my god. Oh wow, this is... This is beautiful. Are we... We're down below? We must be. Look at the skulls. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't like this already. It's very uh, evil, isn't it? The one who waits. Come closer, fear not. For though you are already dead, I still have need of you. Those foolish bishops thought they could keep you from me in death, but instead they sent you straight to me. I will give you life again, but at a price. All I ask is for you to start a cult in my name. Do we have a deal? Absolutely. Okay. What is going on? It looks fantastic, by the way. It looks so good. I'm not sure how it's going to come across on a compressed YouTube video, but oh my God. On this monitor, it looks fantastic. Oh, look at this. Cult of the Lamb. Our oh, title screen. Okay. Do we just drop, drop into it straight away? I think we do. Okay. X is attack. B is dodge roll. Okay. Oh, there we... Um, Curse of the Gods. I'm cursed the dead gods attack wise, I think. Oh, this is nice. Oh, hello. This feels incredible. Oh my god. Dodge to avoid damage. Okay. This feels so good. Oh, you can cut everything down. Cut all the grass, break statues. Break rocks. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Just like that little map oh this is oh this is so cool is that a friend oh it is fear not i am ratao i was once a chosen vessel like you but those days are lost to the winds i was sent to guide you we are deep in the lands of the old faith and are in grave danger my instructions are to lead you to safety continue through the woods escape lies ahead i will be close by nice one I like how you can break everything. Very satisfying uh, movement. Very satisfying combat so far. Okay. Oh. Okay. We took a little bit of damage there, didn't we? But we're doing okay. Oh, we get a chest. Okay. What button is that to open inventory? Let's go. We get a coin. Okay. One coin. Nice. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to smash in here. Okay. I see there's a chest. Oh, I see people as well. Okay, 
Okay, so hitting them or oh, oh, hitting them does also interrupt their attacks. Okay. One coin, thank you. I'm just gonna break everything in case there is. Maybe you don't get anything from uh, chests and stuff. Just I'm not sure what the chances are. To be honest, I've haven't watched any of this. I didn't even play the demo. I thought about making a video on the demo, but I've been waiting for its full release. Didn't want to uh, have any spoilers, you know, for myself. Okay, I want to come into it completely blind like I do most games. What is that? Spikes, okay. Can we dodge through attacks like Gungeon? You know, if you roll, you become invulnerable for a second. I wonder if it's like that. I hope it's like that. So I'm familiar with it. Just a chest room. Okay, lots of coins going on. This looks a little bit spooky. It looks so red. Oh, okay. Is it like a portal? What is, what is this? Is a little guy on the map? Oh. We have nearly reached safety, but look ahead. Another poor soul about to be sacrificed. Rescue them and they'd have no clue but to join your new cult. Oh, mighty bishops of the old faith, we ask you to accept the sacrifice of this wretched soul. Hey, who interrupts our ritual and trespasses on sacred ground? Uh, me? Hello? Oh, okay. They also have rolls. Oh, get wrecked. Oh, there's more. There's certainly more. You can interrupt their attacks, which is nice. I can't see that one. Oh, right, here we go. Get freed. Is, is he a little hedgehog? Oh, let's go. We just rescued. Oh. I'm not sure how we rescued in there. Follower awaits indoctrination. Okay. We're going to add him to our brand new cult that we've barely formed. I love it. I love the red. Why is this? It stands out so much. Oh, hello. We have reached safety. You have done well. The red crown will allow you to use those markings on the ground to transport yourself great distances. It will take you to a temple that has fallen to ruin. There you will be able to begin your new cult. I will meet you there. Nice one. Okay. Oh, look at this. Artwork is incredible movement is incredible okay cleanse the non-believers we added a cult member look at that 34 kills took us just under four minutes oh this is good this is already a good game this is already a favorite of mine i knew it would be okay um recommended for moderate players looking for a well-rounded experience recommended for experienced players looking for a challenge I think I would like to play on the developer recommended to start with. If it's hard, maybe we can increase it later on. Oh, hello. This hallowed ground, which was once mine, is now yours. The crumbling ruin is set to be the site of your new cult. We have much to do. We begin by indoctrinating this poor soul in the warm embrace of your cult. Followers can gain resources for you. Order this one to collect lumber or stone. Okay. Oh, I look at our face when we run. <laughs> okay. Indoctrinate into cult. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Albrina. Okay, you can stay like that for now. I'm not going to change anything, I don't think. What are you? Ignores dissenters when they preach. Naturally obedient. I'm recruiting this follower. Immediately gain 10 faith. Let's go. Oh, look at my little hat. It's got a bit shinier. What is it? Oh, okay. We can tell you to get, uh, go get some lumber. Oh, look at him chopping the tree. By your hand, our cult will grow powerful, but your followers cannot live on prayer alone. They must eat, gather the necessary resources and build a cooking fire. It will allow you to prepare meals for your followers. Collect lumber, collect stone. It's like that guy's collecting lumber. So we're going to go ahead and just... Oh, look at the mining. Oh, what an animation. So we're just going to go ahead and mine some stone. Do I need to collect lumber or is he going to bring me lumber? Oh, he just collects it and then leaves it on the... Okay. Oh, phenomenal. Phenomenal animations. Oh, let's go. Music is also incredible. Oh my god. Okay. Build cooking fire. Oh, do we just go here, do we? Build. Okay, we do. 
cooking fire, cook raw items and turn them into meals that followers can eat. This structure is only built once. Okay, you can't put anything in the middle. Okay. Uh, let's build it out of the way for now then. Very nice. Oh, is this guy coming to build it? Oh, we can build as well. Oh, look at that. Okay. Your followers need to eat and it's up to you to provide meals for them. Okay. The hunger of your cult can be seen on the top left of the screen. When this gets too low, followers will begin to starve. Find more food while crusading. Pick routes that pass through foraging locations. Plant farms to grow your own food. Seeds can be purchased or found whilst crusading. Okay. Collect six berries. Cook a meal. Okay. Oh. Okay, we've got some berry bush seeds. I was going to say, do they replant? Um, but we did just get some berry bush seeds. So it'll be interesting to see how we replant those. Okay. I'm just getting more here. I don't actually need more. Okay, let's uh, let's go cook a meal. So we can just make a basic berry bowl. Simple meal made from berries. A 15% chance of the follower pooping instantly. What on earth? Okay. Oh. Oh, we love those kind of games. We've cooked you a meal. Now we must build a shrine. But first we will need more followers and more gold. Both of which can be found when crusading through the lands of the old faith. Our mutual benefactor, the one who waits, has been trapped by the four bishops of the old faith. Each of them guards a chain that binds him to the realm beyond. They have conjured openings to their realm. It is your task to track them down and slay them so he may be freed. Now go. There you shall find gold and willing recruits. And for those who are not willing, convert them by force. Hmm. Not sure how to think of that one. I just want to go pick up that, that food that I never picked up. Oh no, he ate it and then he just pooped immediately. Well, I'll clean it up because I'm nice. Unsanitary conditions at your cult will cause your followers to become sick. See, I'm just a clean guy. If a follower becomes sick, assign them to bed rest so they could die. Resting will allow them to slowly recover. Poop, vomit and dead bodies cause illness to spread quickly throughout your cult. Cleaning messes and burying bodies will prevent the spread of illness. Nice one. Okay. Um, well, let's go and have a look at completing these new tasks. Okay. Return to the lands of the old faith. Okay. There's two, there's four doors. Okay. Oh, okay. So is it going to be one door for each boss? Darkwood, open door. It costs one cultist. Wait, have we got to... Wait, have we got to kill him? Oh no, I think he just... I think he just worships the shrine and it opens. Maybe, yeah, he's still alive. Oh, he's gone again. Okay. Um, well, let's check it out, friends. Let's give it a go. Summoning. Ooh. So we start with a sword. Okay, we start with three lives. We start with a sword. Crusader's Blade 1. Stalwart companion to the Wandering Warrior. A well-balanced blade dealing moderate damage. Oh, we should probably read this, maybe. Um, entering the lands of the Bishop Leshy. Those who do not follow the ways of the old faith will be destroyed. Certainly an interesting take on it. Um, I hope I don't get destroyed on our first kind of crusade. Oh, what's that? Blue heart? No way. Already? What's going on? Um. Oh no, I've just been killed. How can this be? You were put to the blade, lamb, as all your kind were, and yet here you stand before me. Unrepent. The crown, his power, could it be? But I'm stronger still. Turn tail and run, little lamb. Absolutely not, mate. Should have just killed me then when you had the chance, because I'm coming for you, fella. I'm coming for you. You're having it. Nice. Oh, yeah, let's go. The chests just give us gold. Can we get better weapons? And we've got a blue, a little blue heart. They're my favorite hearts in all of these kind of games. Oh, look at the map in the top left. We have to choose a way. Okay. Oh. Well, that's a dude. I thought that was a tent. Oh, it's a card game. 
praise the lamb conduit to great power promised liberate of the one that waits below so the card showed me once many lifetimes ago or has that yet to be i've always drawn your cards lamb and yet this is the first take these cards and i will draw another each time we meet when drawn by me they will grant you power what power well that is both known and unfathomable the cards they shall decide 10% chance the deal a crit or a blue heart. It's got to be crit. Nice. So every time I see him, he's going to give us a new card to choose from. Hopefully he's on every level because I could do with a lot of cards. <laughs> okay. I think this might be my favorite looking game ever. And Hades is certainly up there. This is like Hades on steroids, man. This is incredible. Okay. I just love the look of it. We'll figure a, good, we'll figure a gameplay out later on. We'll get a better understanding, a better review of gameplay later on. For now, let's just admire it. Oh, red heart that we can't take. Full health. Understandable. Maybe one day. Uh, okay, to the right we go. We've got to remember that's there, though. Doesn't show it on the map. Oh, okay. We've got some coins. What's this? Acquired stone walls, sturdier than bone. So we can make what stone walls in our base. Oh yeah, decorations. Okay. So our first decoration costs one stone to make. Very nice. Do I want to go through here? I suppose I do. Oh, okay. Um, I personally think that going through the foraging things will be better just for food and stuff. Okay, is this just a room full of berry bushes? Very nice. I don't think we need lumber. You know, we're going to have trees at the camp. Maybe later on, we haven't got any trees planted in the camp. Maybe then we're going to need some lumber. But I think for now, this is a pretty safe pick. Got to make sure we always have meals laying around for our guys, you know. Want to look after our little cult followers. Is this the boss already? If so, very short crusade. Oh, no, it's just, oh, it's just a different floor. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, get dodged, fools. Nice. Okay, another chest. Let's go. Ooh. What are those red things then? Oh, I, I'm picking up grass, I've just noticed. Okay. Maybe grass is a good thing to pick up then. Oh, hello, my friend. Draw a tarot card. Reveal the map. Receive double the health when healing. Let's reveal the map. How do I open the map? Oh my god, I can I can bleat if I hit the right stick. How does one open the shop? Not the shop, sorry, the map. I don't know. Okay, well, we'll leave him. I quite like those little upgrades, though. You just get a choice between two every time. I like that. Okay, nice one. Let's uh, chop all these trees down again, just in case there's any coins, you know, any grass, anything, really. I'm unsure what's actually kept in these things, but maybe one day we'll find something pretty useful. What's, what's happening over here, then? More coins. I don't want the red things. Like they must be healing. They must be. Everything's like spitting out these skulls when I hit them, but I'm not getting anything from the skulls. It's very weird. Okay, no worries. We'll uh, we'll move on. It's a skull on this one. So this is going to be a fight. Oh no. Uh oh. Is this Leshy again? I think it is. Oh, it is. You have come far enough, little lamb. My followers are willing to do anything for me. Can you say the same of yours? I give myself to the cause, O mighty leader. By the blood of the great ones, destroy the red crown. Yeah, please don't. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't like this already. Amducius is the first boss. Oh. I really like that charge animation, by the way. That's, like, so distinguishable. Oh, 
Oh, we saw a crit, I think. Let's go. Okay, that was. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a bloke. It's a guy. It's a. Hello. Convert. Please spare me. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. There you go, mate. Oh man, that's sick. That's so good. Oh, we get to choose something. Wood, 16 lumber, six, five stone. That's not that much. Big gift. It's got to be a big gift. I'm sorry. Lots of gold. Yes. I don't know what the red stuff is. Must be healing or blood or something, you know. Something very cult-like. Maybe the red just symbolizes there's something there to pick up. Uh-oh. Okay, what does that mean? We have to do this four times to unlock the door then maybe? Okay. We'll return to our cult and we'll meet our new guy. Why not? He seems pretty chill. Yeah, let's go. Oh, lots of resources. A new, a new uh, cult member as well. Easy enough, right people? Oh, the music again. Return with more followers, which we have done. I am relieved to see you made it safely and you have not returned alone. You have convinced more to join our faithful flock. Let us indoctrinate this new convert so that we may continue. Hello, mate. Welcome to the cult. Okay. Amducius. Uh-oh. I already see a, a, a negative. Minus five faith when a follower is sacrificed. Oh, okay. Don't really want to sacrifice people, man. I'm not, I'm not that kind of guy. Uh, generates devotion 15% faster. Seems like a good percentage. Oh, he's got his little, his little shirt on. Now, we've already got somebody clicked in lumber, so you can go ahead and collect stone, my friend. Followers will either work or worship. Worshipping followers generate devotion for you to collect. But to collect devotion, you require a shrine. Build a shrine. Faith. Okay, 30 gold is all that's needed. And you build it right in the middle. Okay. Shrine under construction. I'll, I'll build it, mate. You can carry on collecting your wood. Don't worry. Oh, they're coming to help. Look at them. Oh, look at this. Team effort. Praise be. Your followers can now worship you. Here is a new follower. Assign them to worship at the shrine. They collect the devotion your followers generate at the shrine to unlock divine inspiration. Oh my god, it's a bumblebee. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a bumblebee. Oh my god. Okay. Oh yes, positive. Heals 15% faster when sick and in bed rest. Get your shirt on, lad. You're going to work at the shrine collecting everybody's devotion. Collect devotion from your shrine. Once you've collected enough, you'll unlock divine inspiration. The more followers worshipping at your shrine, the faster they will fill up. If the shrine is full, they will stop worshipping until it is emptied. Once you have collected divine inspiration, unlock new buildings for your cult through the shrine. Oh, let's go. Collect divine inspiration from the shrine. Okay. Requires temple. Requires temple. Ah, temple. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, look at this. Oh, what an animation. Okay. Nice. And now we can upgrade these things then. Sleeping bag. Nice one. Okay. Build a temple. Temple costs 15 wood, 5 lumber. Where's our guy collecting uh, stone? They are very weak, aren't they? I'll help you out, mate. Don't worry about that one piece of stone. How much stone do we need again? <laughs> I actually already forgot. I wonder if the stone comes back because it's it's not really a renewable resource, is it? Maybe it is. How do we how do we remake stone? Five stone. How much have we got? Sorry. Okay, one more piece of stone, then we're good. So it's just going to be lumber. That might take a while to uh, mine. So I'm just going to get this one down here instead. Nice. Okay, and then lumber it is. 
Nice, there's our first piece. Sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to torch. Just wanted to cut down the tree as well. Trying to help you out, look, friend. Nice. That's going to take a little bit too long to chop. So it's 15 wood for the temple. I'm currently on seven. Not too bad, to be honest. We'll get it, I think, pretty soon. We're going to need to find a way to renew some of this stuff. I mean, we can probably plant trees, can't we? But I'm not sure about the rocks, to be honest. Okay, yeah, nice. 12. Oh, no. Okay, this is a... Uh... I mean, it's, it's so satisfying. Like, it's just... It's so nice and just calm and, like... I'm chopping a tree there. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to leave the trees for now. We're going to need those at a later date. Here we go. Uh, I would not like to collect my divine inspiration right now, although I could. Uh, let's go ahead and build the temple then. Yeah, let's build it right here on the way in. Okay. And I might go collect this. Oh, look at that. Okay. Oh, they're building this. Here we go. I'll help you out, friends. The three of us on here? There is. Okay, other guy's worshipping, of course. He can do exactly that. Happy for him to carry on. Build a temple. Oh, let's go. Hello, Ratau. The temple is the center of your cult. From there, you will preach sermons to grow stronger and perform rituals to mold the fragile minds of your followers. You are responsible for maintaining the faith of your cult. If it falls too low, your followers will descend against you and eventually leave. Your followers are ready to hear your word. Show them that you are their great leader. Preach a sermon from within your temple. Okay, very spooky. Perform a sermon, drawing energy from your followers to bolster the power of the red crown. Yes. Hello, followers. Listen to us bleat. Okay, strength through the flock. Through the faith of your followers, you grow stronger. Performing sermons will draw power from them and allow you to unlock new abilities, weapons, and curses. Followers of a higher loyalty level will generate more devotion. Therefore, the more followers you have and the more loyal they are, the quicker you will gain new abilities. Okay, hearts of the faithful permanently gain half a heart. Okay, nice one. Thank you very much. Oh. Okay, nice one. Oh, hello, Ratau. You were amazing to behold, a natural leader. I see why you were chosen. You have to guide your cult. You need to declare doctrines. They might obey you. Return to the lands of the old faith and seek out commandment stone fragments. With these, you'll be able to declare new doctrines. Okay. So now we gotta go do another run against the same. Is it? Is it? Oh, followers deposit resources here while you're away. Oh, that's good to know. Okay, nice one. Do we have to go? Can we go to anybody else? Or do we have to go through Leshy? Seven followers. Okay, so I guess it's gonna be Leshy again. Then let's have a look real quick. Yeah, nine. Okay, I'm gonna guess if one's gonna be like twelve. So. We'll go again. We did one out of four on this one, I think. Or at least on that door. Oh, new weapon. Okay. Apostates Cleaver 1. A mighty tool of unstoppable brutality. 2.4 damage. 0 0.5 speed. Oh, that is slow. Okay. Let's get a move on then, shall we? Very exciting. Hello, what are you? Very, very, very slow paced. Oh, no. Hello, Leshy. So, you foolishly persist, little lamb. I hear your lies. Something, something. The red crown rises again. But what an unworthy bearer it has. Oh, you just kill me already? Bring it on. Oh, he has. He's, he's trying just now himself. More. Okay, the slow attack is getting to me a little bit, to be honest. Okay, nice enough though. Easy, a little, little bit of coins. We're going to head down to start, I think. Okay, 
easy enough. That's it. Keep giving me coins, people. I'm more than happy with coins. Keep looking in top right for the map, and it's like a... That's the clock. The map is further to the left, and it's kind of annoying me now. Big hitbox on the uh, battle axe right now. Nice one, okay. I feel like there's going to be something in these chests or in these in these barrels, you know, even if it's just a bit of gold. Like it's really worth looking or maybe it's weird that they added a feature that you can destroy them if they have nothing in. It just confuses me quite a bit. Oh, I'm glad I found you. I bring good news. The one who waits is pleased with your progress and wishes to grant you a crown ability. Oh my God. Okay. Hold to aim. Why is that? Okay. So it's like a little rifle shot that also sends us backwards. Okay. Enemies you slay will now drop further. For Vower. Collect this to replenish your curses. Okay, so blood. We'll call it Fervour for now. It's the righteous anger earned by striking down non-believers and works like ammunition for your curses. Fervour will be dropped when you slay an enemy. Collecting it refuels your curses. Nice one. How do I do that again? Hold Y. Okay, nice. Yeah, nice. That's quite good, actually. Oh, okay. Do we want to go back and explore? Oh, there's some areas up here that I didn't explore, maybe. Yeah, I can turn left up here. Look, okay. Let's go check that out right at the start. It was. Oh, it's this guy. It's a good job we came back for it. Tell me, Lamb, do you believe destiny immutable? Overall weapon damage increased by 1.2 times. 10% chance of gaining blue heart when killing an enemy. That's a really high percent chance. I'm going to give that a go. 10% chance I get a blue heart for killing any enemy? Absolutely. Okay. Let's, um... I feel like I don't want rocks. I feel like I want a follower, you know. Or do I want a weapon? No, I want a follower. I'm going to go to the right and get a follower. Hello. Look at this guy. This guy looks cool. Harrow. He, hapless Leshy, youngest of the five. Twas his eyes he lost. Temperamental Hecate with her throat cut neat. Cowardly Calamar's ears torn from his head. And Shamora, once the biggest, once the brightest of the five. Till their skull was split. See no evil, speak nor hear nothing, think none. The one who waits made it so. Um... Okay. The break this guy's camp, I'm sorry. Find commandment stone fragments. Yeah, I wanted to go find this guy, didn't I? Oh, it's a little cow. We'll free you. Hello, friend. Welcome to the cult. Spooky times. Follower awaits indoctrination. Just going to break these in case we find anything. I think we found a blue heart in one of the last runs. That's why I'm just... I'm checking it all. Is this it already? Okay. Oh, what is... Steel Devotion. Let's do it. Should I have stole Devotion? I guess... It's starting to build itself back up. Okay, kind of weird. I'm, I'm a bit spooked by that. Oh! It's you again. Hello. Eons are gone. These lands were rife with gods and their adherents. What befell this pantheon? Alas, tis the nature of beasts to forget and of gods to be forgotten. Mayhap they left. Mayhap they slept. Mayhap. Why? Uh, reading uh, Migo's lyrics. Uh, and were devoured in turn. Those few who remained spread roots, spun webs, molded this world to meet them and theirs. For a land of many gods, once hundreds now okay pick a commandment stone fragment i'm gonna go for the middle one. Oh, we can we can get all of them okay that's our first commandment stone i guess 
We have found enough fragments to form a commandment stone. Commandment stones are used to declare new doctrines for your cult to follow. Use the altar in your temple to declare a new doctrine whenever you form a new commandment stone. Very nice. Let's just carry on exploring this area. Hello, it's been a while since we've had to fight somebody. Nice enough, more coins. Oh, we got three different ways we can go here. I like these options. Oh, it's my favourite guy. Hello. My favourite guy. Damages everything on screen when hit. I'm going to take the lover's one. Which just gives me a blue heart, but I'm happy with that. A little bit of protection. You know what I'm like when it comes to hearts. Oh. Maybe this was uh, meant to wait. Okay, you like to jump then? I can live with that, mate. Oh. We just lose half a blue heart. I think we did. Axe is incredibly slow. I love there's no cooldown on the dash. Big fan. Oh, he's jumping even more. Oh. That was really bad for me. I got greedy. Nice. The loser, a blue heart for that. Oh, look at this guy. Hello, mate. Come on, then. Don't even speak to him. You just teleport him straight away. What a, what a guy. Oh. Choose a blueprint. Choose a blueprint. I'm going to choose a blueprint. Might teach how to make something. A wheelbarrow filled with flowers. Is that just a decoration? It is. Okay. At least we can make our place nice and pretty now. Okay. We'll take that. Oh, we get a chest. Nice. Look at all the coins. Oh, another stone fragment as well. Another commandment fragment, I should say, even. Very nice. That would be to return to the cult. I want to explore the uh, the other room first, if that's okay. Yeah, it is literally just a fighting room. Okay. Not too bad, then. Okay. I mean, it's a good job we did. Got a bit more gold before uh, the end of this little... Uh, Crusade. Gold seems to be important, so I'm happy to collect as much of that as we need. Okay, looking good. Um, okay, I guess we return to the cult with another follower. This should bring us to four followers then. Which is more than I've got on Twitter. I'm kidding. I've actually got like 195 on Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, please go follow me on Twitter. I should have shouted that out at the start. Okay, nice. 29 kills, 8 minutes. 48 gold. Oh. We've been summoned in front of the big man. Very good, my vessel. It seems I choose well. I chose well when I kept you from death. I will be watching your every move. Do not disappoint me. Try my best, uh, big, big man. Okay. Nice. Oh. I don't want to mind that. Okay, we've got all resources from that already. Um, oh, we got to let this guy in. Let's, uh, let's indoctrinate this guy first. Hello. Athena. Uh-oh. Lose five faith whenever another follower dies. Gain faith when building better sleeping quarters. Okay. We'll work on it, I promise. We'll work on it. We'll get there. Don't you worry, friend. Uh, what do you... You can go worship as well. How about that? Oh, we got another one, didn't we? Oh, mate. Hello. Uh-oh. This guy's got two negatives. Natural skeptic on recruiting follower immediately lose 10 faith 15% easier to level up losing 10 faith when falling ill. We'll take you for now, but you seem a bit of a dodgy one You look cool though You can also go worship my friend There's no more is there? Okay Look at them go worship. I'm just gonna take all of these Divine inspiration unlocked Sleeping bags, okay. So we want, I think we want both of these. I can only choose one at the minute though, I think. Oh. 
Okay, yeah, we have zero divine inspiration. We can make some sleeping bags soon. Okay, uh, let's go and declare a new doctrine from the altar in our temple. Uh... Is it, is it crown? Ah, okay. Declare new doctrine. Use a commandment stone to declare a new doctrine for your cult. Select from a category and make a choice that will either unlock a new ritual trait or follower interaction. Look at them all. Five of them. Okay, bonfire ritual. Ritual unlock. Dance around the flame to increase the cult's faith. Yes, please. <laughs> okay there's our first ritual there we go nice light the fires and let us dance deep into the night i don't know what that is that we need 25 of but i'll consider it all right nice one friends okay oh here he is hello Rotel. preaching sermons performing rituals and providing for the needs of your followers will keep their faith high the bones of your enemies are required to perform such rituals. Destroy their skeletons to gather their bones. Return to the lands of the old faith. Gather bones from fallen enemies. Recruit more followers and return to perform a ritual here in the temple. Perform rituals in the temple. These usually raise faith or help you solve problems in the cult. Rituals are performed using the bones of your fallen enemies. After slaying a non-believer, desecrate their bodies to gather their bones and use them to perform dark rituals at your temple. Okay. It's spooky, um, but that is going to be it for our first episode on the game. Now, I have no idea how this is going to go down on the channel. I imagine because everybody's playing it and a lot of the bigger creators have had it for about a week now and I've already got videos out. It's not going to be the most performing thing we've got on the channel. However, this is the most excited I've been for a game in a while. So regardless of how it does, we're going to play it, whether it be on Steam and it gets cut up into VODs, sorry, on stream and it gets cut up into VODs for YouTube or episodes like this i'm gonna play through this game so if you're here for the long journey my friends make sure to subscribe make sure to follow me on twitch and twitter where i'll be notified if i do go live to play this game i want to play loads of it it's really fun it looks amazing i can't wait to play more but that's gonna be it for today so if you're new please subscribe carry on doing the usual youtube stuff and i will see you all again next time goodbye